Hey guys, what's going on? So today we're talking about E30. Um, basically, it's just going to be the ins and outs of E30, um, how to use it, how to mix it, um, what are the benefits. So um, let's get to it. First of all, um, E30 is used over 93 or 91 or, you know, um, as a mixture because it has a higher knock resistance because of the E85 and E85 is around 105 octane or so. Um, so that adds a higher knock resistance. You can push more timing, more boost, whatever. Um, and so basically it's a mixture. It is 30% E85, 70% pump gas, 91 or 93, whatever you choose. So basically you usually mix it at the pump. Um, at an E85 station, they should have a 93 pump and an uh, E85 pump right next to each other is what they usually have. Some don't, the one near me doesn't, it's a pain. Um, but yeah, so let's start with the Let's start with the benefits of it, first of all. So the benefits, like I said, knock resistance. Um, usually people gain 30 horsepower or so, 30-ish. Some claim 40, um, it depends, but it's a pretty big jump over 93. Um, uh, better knock resistance, etc. You know, it's the, the most fuel, or the most E85 you can push on a stock fuel system. So that's why they do E30. Um, so yeah, benefits, power, um, knock resistance it's really all I can think of I mean you're faster that's about it um, cons you have to mix the gas at the pump and you have to make sure you're doing it correctly when I do it the app I use right here is called E85 calculator it's on the App Store on Apple I don't know if they have it for Android but it's what it looks like right there basically you type in you know, let's say, okay, so the tank on an EcoBoost Mustang is 15 and a half. Let's say it's completely empty. We're using 93 octane, 10% ethanol, which is what usual, you know, 93 is about 10% ethanol. We want 30%. There's 10 in the tank. E85 is around 105 octane, 85%. All right. So that's what it'll look like right there. And it'll give you basically, you know, the amount of gas you need 93 versus the amount of E85 you need and so basically like let's say you test your E85 which you should do um, and say it comes out to E70 you type in 70 and see how it's now 5.17 and 10.33 that that gives you it basically tells you how much you need to fill up and like let's say your tank is half full or whatever you put in 50% because on the access port you can actually see um, your fuel level in a percentage um, so you can actually do it when you're partially full too so there's that but yeah this app you know does wonders it tells me everything I need to know um, so that's basically filling right there it's not that's not that hard you know as long as you have a gas station with E85 and 93 at the pump it's simple you know just make sure you're filling up the correct amounts um, so we've gone over benefits we've gone over filling um, it's really not, you know, it's it's not that difficult to do. Basically, what you're going to need to do is you're going to need an E30 tune from your tuner. Um, and actually, Tune Plus doesn't even, I don't even, I don't think they even tune for anything without an upgraded intercooler. You, it used to be they won't upgrade or tune E30 without an upgraded intercooler, but I don't think they tune anything without an upgraded intercooler now. Um, but you're going to want an upgraded intercooler, obviously. You're going to want spark plugs. NGK 6510 iridiums right here, pre-gapped. I got them from Tune Plus. Um, <clears throat> you're gonna want a catch can. All the all the stuff I always say you need, just the simple stuff. You're gonna want all that stuff. Um, then an E30 tune from a reputable tuner, um, such as Purple Drink. I'm always gonna say that. Um, Tune Plus. I'm not sure if Lund does E30. Um, I think they do, but I'm not sure. Um, any reputable tuner can do an E30 tune. Um, so yeah, that's I mean that's about it. Um, this, there's going to be gains in power, um, usually about you know 30, 40 horsepower. To put it in perspective, my friend has a Mazda Speed 3. On 93, um, my 93 versus his 93 tune he had, um, I beat him by about half a car. On E30, I put you know a bus and a half on him. It, it, it made a very large difference. Um, and on E30, you usually push a little bit more boost. On my 93, I usually push about uh, 24, 25 pounds. On E30, 
uh, 26, 27 pounds or so. Um, it depends, but usually push a little bit more boost, um, a little bit more timing, definitely. Um, so yeah, it, it's it's a no-brainer if you're willing to actually fill your car up and take the couple extra minutes to make sure um, you get the right mixture and fill your car up. It does get frustrating, um, but you know, and what I would recommend is, first of all, after you fill up, what I've always been told is wait, you know, seven to 10 miles just to make sure the E30 has made it into the fuel line, the fuel rail, because I remember the first time I filled up with E30, I gunned it right out of the gas station, got like a negative three ignition correction, and it didn't feel any faster. It's because it was still running on 93, basically, because it hadn't gotten the fuel rail yet. Second of all, I would recommend <clears throat> just for, you know, safety, um, run 93 through your tank, you know, once a month or every other week or something like that, just so you start fresh. Run a whole tank through or tank and a half, whatever you want to do. <clears throat> So you get all the E30 out of there, you start with a fresh mixture, is what I usually do. So basically, you know, <clears throat> run the E30 down to like a quarter tank, eighth of a tank, fill up with 93, run that tank down, I fill up with like another half a tank or so. Um, <clears throat> so I know basically I'm back to straight 93, and then I redo my mixture. So I'm not, you know, accidentally, um, you know, adding slightly too much E85 every single time I fill up. And then, you know, maybe I'm up to E40 or E50 by now and I'm mix messing up the mixture. It's just for peace of mind. Anyways, you know, just quick little video explaining the ins and outs of E30, why you should get it, why, you know, the pros and cons, nothing special. But as always, I appreciate you guys watching. Um, if you enjoyed the video, give it a thumbs up. And if you haven't already subscribed, go ahead and subscribe and have a great day.